So typically in the winter, you get your polar vortex forming across the North Pole. And, you know, when you see that, all of your cold air usually is concentrated across this region. But what is interesting is the split that's going to be happening as we head into now the 5th, the 6th, and the 7th. And that's going to push some cold air south into the United States. You can really see that here on the 850 millibar chart. When you look at this, the pink is clearly the cold air. We've got a good bridge of that all the way into Canada. But look what happens as we now move toward the 2nd and the 3rd and the 4th. You've got warm air coming up from Alaska, also from Europe, and that splits the cold air, moving it south into North America, also over into Asia. Still showing up today, and I think that is uh, is going to be important because now you've got the cold air primed in Canada versus being stuck into the Arctic. You've got a big ridge across Alaska. The MGJO, which is another thing we look at, I'm not going to dig into all those details, but it starts to move into a colder phase as we move into the middle part of February, and one has to wonder, do all the things come together to put the cold air south into the United States? Maybe so. I'm starting to lean that that chance is possible. At least the warm-up for the rest of the winter, I think it's off the table. I'm going to go out on a limb. They say a flounder can flip and flop on land. It has to choose a side. I'm going to choose that side today. I could flip again tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. That's what I'm going with for now, uh, and that's what the data is showing me. So I try to base my decisions on data that I got, and uh, I always like to wake up tomorrow and go, hey, if I could do it again, would I make the same decision based on what I had yesterday? Yes. Here's the snow we're expecting over the next week. This is, again, an operational run of the European. Who knows if we get a big snowstorm into the Northeast? I don't know. I mean, looking this far out, and then it tries to develop another one on the Mid-Atlantic, and then these weird things happen across the South a long way to, before we get there. Let's talk about what looks certain. We've got the rain here across the east, some snow on the northern side of that, and a big storm moving into the west with heavy snow here. Multiple winter storm warnings out across the Cascades, down into the Sierras, also into northern California, really, and then back into Idaho and Montana. More snow on the way, too, also across the Great Lakes into Wisconsin. That pushes into the northeast as we head into the weekend. Going to go through this pretty quickly today, and then we've got the snow continuing across the west just this atmospheric river here with temperatures across the rest of the country it's going to stay mild so keep in mind what i'm talking about is probably going to be coming sometime around the 6th and the 7th you're going to start to see some changes in parts of the country we're back cold here across the northern plains in fact it's going to get really cold here and not warm up a lot we're cold back into the northeast you're pushing your chilly air south with this front and now you've got this really sharp dividing line between polar cold arctic air to the north History tells me something usually happens when you get this type of setup. The models are not going to handle this well this far out. They're trying to sniff out something. You can see it here. And then it tries to push the cold air even further south once you get toward the 9th and the 10th. And then it tries to do something else. I'm not particularly interested in where I'm seeing snow, what kind of storm I'm seeing. There's no way in the world I'm going to be able to tell you you're going to get a snowstorm on February 11th. The pattern shows the cold moving south, though, and then in that, then you get the storms. A closer look into the east here will start a little bit breezy today. Those winds do start to back down in some areas, especially across the south as we head into Saturday, but it remains breezy here across the northeast coast. Precipitation definitely wet here across West Virginia. There's flood watches in effect here for some heavy rain that could be falling, uh, and also in some other areas, too. There's a lot of snow melt going on. That's one of the reasons. More snow falling, though, up here into parts of uh, the upstate of New York back toward Rochester, Buffalo, and then up into Vermont and New Hampshire, and even parts of Maine. You're going to get some snow out of this as well. And then we're wet down the eastern seaboard from Connecticut, New Jersey, down to Delaware, all the way to the South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia coastline. And then we move that out pretty quickly. We dry out heading into Saturday, looking pretty nice here now, into the northeast, all the way into the south with some sunshine. Clouds on the increase, though, across the Great Lakes and some snow moving in here. That would be pushing into Michigan, also into Wisconsin. Some snow today. Also, into Saturday morning, we'll add up into a couple of inches here. Again, from Buffalo to Rochester, and then into Vermont and New Hampshire. And then the snow on Saturday starts to move in. Really, Saturday night up here into the Arrowhead of Minnesota, northern Minnesota. You know, we might get a light dusting or so up towards Saint, uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. And then some snow tries to sneak into Green Bay, maybe down to Milwaukee. I don't know, but Green Bay has a better chance of seeing an inch or two. And then into the UP of Michigan, we're going to get some snow out of this as well up to six inches possible into parts of the UP. And then that pushes east, adding more snow on top of what we're seeing heading into uh, Friday, Friday night into Saturday. So that would be on the way as we now head into what? Sunday night and Monday into the Northeast. Here's a closer look into the Northeast. There's the snow today and then more snow on the way. And that would also continue further north up into Maine. 
across the central United States. It's been breezy here. We've got our system moving away now, that upper low, and the winds will start to back down. These are wind gusts up to 20 to 30 at times. And then look at this, really calming down tonight. Just a light breeze at times, and then a little bit windy out ahead of our next system here across North Dakota, South Dakota, and then the winds pick up again as our uh, next system moves through. There's high pressure building in as we head into Saturday across the central plains. Dry weather here. And then there's the snow way to the north. And there's also going to be a little bit of snow trying to work into parts of Wyoming and in Montana. Some of that starts to get heavy, though, as we head into Monday and push east. It doesn't look like a lot of snow across the Dakotas into parts of Minnesota. Lighter precipitation here. Uh, I think we have to hold off until about midweek. That's when our next significant weather maker will move through with, with this upper level trough that starts to swing across the country. Heavy snow across the mountains of British Columbia, also Oregon, down into Washington, Northern California, down into the Sierra, also really windy for places like Reno, up into the mountains, clearly it's going to be windy as well, and then that snow pushes east now into Idaho, Montana, even into the Wasatch, we're going to get some snow out of this as our atmospheric river sets up and this area of low pressure swings into Seattle, and that could be cold enough to put some snow even down into Seattle for the early part of the week, mixing with rain too. Big snow going here into the Sierra again as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday as our next system moves through us. An impulse of energy and more moisture headed into California and Oregon as we head into Thursday and Friday as we stay really active here. Snow through Sunday, it's going to add up to 10 to 20 inches into some of the higher mountains. And then as we move now into the weekend uh, or into next week, look at these numbers. Really heavy snow possible across parts of Northern California. Heavy snow north of that into the see uh into the cascades and then further inland to big snows into montana idaho boise may get a little bit of snow out of this but it's really up into the mountains that's where the heavy snow is falling all right that's all i got for now guys see you next time